I'm going to show you guys how you can beat any of the Beat on the Brat missions in Cyberpunk 2077 with a hardcore exploit that makes it so easy it's pathetic, okay? Now, I know there are exploits for like, oh, here's how to bring a sword to the fight. Here's how to bring a gun to the fight. None of those will be as easy as what I'm about to show you. Although, if you can use a gun that's going to like one tap them, I mean, I guess that's, that's faster. But if you're like playing on very hard and these fights are actually going to take a moment, then... Uh, this is probably the, the, the easiest way because you can CC him or her, but I think I've done all the missions actually for these, but him. Uh, so take your car as far as you can, close as you can, depending on the one. So if it's deep inside a building, it's going to get kind of weird. Now, here's the thing. You're going to need to collect heavy machine guns. Now, if you want to know how to collect heavy machine guns, I will put a link in the description. You can go check it out. It's like a two minute video showing one of the spots that you can collect heavy machine guns. Uh, you're gonna drop them right here in the middle of the, of the arena, okay? Just all over the place. But yeah, you can collect heavy machine guns, you can put them in the trunk to store them. There's probably more locations than the one I showed on the other video. But the one in the other video is a location to farm heavy machine guns, and that'll work. Uh, there, like I said, there are probably others though. So just go ahead and litter the, uh, the battlefield with the heavy machine guns. Depending on the difficulty you're playing on and the level that you are and all that, you'll need a different number of heavy machine guns. And the big benefit to this, like I said earlier, is it crowd controls your target when you hit him with a heavy machine gun. So when you only have one target, you can just stun lock him until the fight's over. It makes it easier than any other method unless you can actually just one shot him basically with a really strong gun. Uh, but if you're that far in the game, you could probably also just use gorilla arms with thermal and blow the brains out, you know, just whatever. But if you're like level 10 and you're trying to do this, then the only option is to get heavy machine guns. And if you don't want to turn the difficulty down from very hard. I remember doing this on stream at level, like, I don't even know what level I was. I was a low level, like 30 or 40. And, uh, did not want to turn it off very hard. And this was the easy way to do it. So now, now that you've littered the battlefield with heavy machine guns... It's time to talk Gotta to whoever fight. it is that you're going to be fighting for the Beat on the Brat missions. Uh, I'm going to say Nice Rifle. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make him toss in the sniper rifle just for funsies. Alright. So now you get to see it in action. So you want to wait till it actually starts. Before you pick it up, Look forward. you'll know. You can just hold out a weapon, and then you'll know because you'll put it away. There you go. And like you can see, it just knocks him on his butt. Uh, I'm at. I don't know what difficulty I have it on right now, or what level, like what's going on with levels or anything. But uh, the heavy machine gun does not do a ton of damage. Uh, but you can literally just do nothing. I mean, you just chill. It's so easy, it's just stupid. So, I mean, I could painstakingly sit here for about two to three minutes and make you guys watch this, or I can skip ahead to when the fight's already done. Also, make sure your heavy machine gun does not overheat, or you might get screwed if you're really in a situation where he might just one-tap you. Anyway, I'm gonna skip ahead now to after the fight. Okay, so the fight is almost over. So I'm going to show you the last bit. Something really important that I should mention is when swapping the heavy machine gun, things can get weird. Uh, I'm not actually sure how to drop it. There might be a button for dropping it, but, tr but uh, the swap weapon button does not drop it. So you have to run out of ammo with it. And uh, it's really weird. So you want to hold your shot until you got like, when you got like three left. Uh oh, I overheated. That's also a danger I was going to tell you about. You got to be careful about overheating. I don't want that to happen either. I'm glad I include both those things to warn you guys. So, uh, yeah, swapping is scary. And, uh, swapping is scary. And then also, uh, yeah, so they're like, if I just try to take it while I still got ammo, just weird things happen. So, uh, if this guy you try to take his rifle, like, so, oh my god. <laughs> so many things happening weird. I don't see it. Oh god. Oh god, I've messed it up by trying to drop a what I think I tried to drop a heavy MG heavy HMG heavy machine gun while holding a heavy machine gun. I think I permanently broke them. So uh, be careful with those things. Just use them until they're out of ammo. Let them drop because they're out of ammo. 
and then after they're out of ammo, uh, then go to the next one, or else really weird things can happen. Really, really, really weird things can happen if you don't do it that way. But there you go. Now you know how to beat uh, any of the Beat on the Brat missions with a hardcore exploit that makes it just ridiculously easy. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot, even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!